Hey guys, Aileen here from Homegrown Happiness. Welcome to April. In New Zealand that means it's month two of autumn. The weather's definitely changing. It is so much colder. So I've already done everything that I wanted to in the garden for this month and I have videoed it but I'm going to just talk about what I've done this way. I think it's easier than walking around holding the camera. So first up, the garden was really messy. Crops are finishing. My piece drawers everywhere. The birds have been digging into it. I've taken the netting off my big brassicas, my cauliflower and my broccoli and I've just started manually checking them every day and also using KiwiCare Caterpillar Biocontrol but mainly I've just been going up every day and just removing the caterpillars as I see them. The green netting that you see that isn't for brassicas, that is actually for my carrots. I sowed some carrots and it's just to try and get the birds to stop getting them but that wasn't very good this netting, it's just kind of fallen down so I'm going to change that too. There's powdery mildew now everywhere in the garden but my zucchini that I planted in spring have done really well considering I've kept them trimmed back pretty well. I still have some more zucchini that I planted not very long ago that don't have any mildew but it's really just to see now if a frost will come whether or not I get any zucchinis. My beans, I'm just leaving them to mature now. I want to start harvesting these ones as mature dried beans as opposed to fresh green beans. I think they'd just be really good in winter, just as another food to bulk up stews and soups and things like that. The biggest job in this month's video is my orange berries. So I planted orange berries about two years ago as a ground cover to just to cover the sides because I didn't want to keep weeding there and um, they've done a really good job. They're an excellent ground cover, no weeds get through but they have spread quite far into my vegetable garden. First I'm just going to cut them back but then I thought I'll just remove them completely because it is actually usable space. So that was a really hard job getting rid of that because they send out lots of shoots and each shoot that sends out will grow roots and I just don't have the space for them. So it was quite hard work digging these guys out and pretty invasive. And once I'd done one side I thought well I'll just do the other side too because it will just spread. So I ended up with a massive bag of orange berries, but I'm going to replant those in my parents' place because they have these big banks that um, constantly need weeding and it's too steep to put any mulch on it. That just falls right down. So the orange berry would be a perfect ground cover on that. I also had heaps of strawberry seedlings that needed to come out. My kids want to sell them and get some pocket money. First I started laying them nice and neatly and then I saw how many there were and I just made one giant pile. Now that the strawberry bed was cleaned up and the orange berry was gone, there was room to do some more planting, so I put in some tatsoi. So I bought the tatsoi seedlings because I hadn't had time to sow any myself. And while I was there, I found more orange berries, so that came out too. And a butternut. So now the zucchini, I'm just going to clean up one of them and remove the badly affected leaves. But I'm just going to keep it in because it is still producing. But this other one, that one is getting chopped down. And now it's time for my favourite part, which is mulching my garden because it just makes things look really nice and tidy, as tidy as my garden can look. So usually I would chop down any plants that I'm taking out and let them break down underneath the mulch, but I'm not going to do that this time because the zucchini that I took out and the butternut have mildew, so I don't want to spread any of that.
Last spring I sowed some sweet peas and they are already self-seeding. And I'm so excited to get celeriac for the first time this year. And now moving down to the bottom garden, which is a part that I didn't use very much before. I used it this summer really for the first time to grow corn and it did really well. So I'm going to try and grow some things over winter here as well. We originally didn't use it because this was the part that the kids would play on, but they play now on the street, which is a cul-de-sac, so we can use this. So I've got some more brassicas here, they're still covered for now. And I have some fennel and some spinach and some lettuce in all sorts of pots. And then my yams are doing well in their planters. So these are old washing machine barrels that I've just repurposed. I've also been planting out some more flowers because it's important to keep a little bit of colour going throughout autumn and winter for the beneficial pollinators. So I've got some foxglove, some dianthus, some cornflowers and some alisum. And hopefully we'll be eating this watermelon soon. So this month is just about keeping things tidied and keeping it well mulched because now that the rain is starting things will start germinating very quickly. So in summer I find that I don't need to mulch very often because there's not as much rain and I water very specifically on the plants that I want and not everywhere else so the, germ the seeds in the mulch don't germinate very quickly. But in winter it's a different story and they'll come up very quickly. So it's extra important now to keep it well mulched and I'm just going to keep piling mulch on top every so many weeks. I will put a link on deep mulching in the description box below if you don't know anything about it yet you should definitely check it out. And that's it for the video, thank you for watching.